know about you guys, but sometimes the dentist can actually be pretty scary to me. Like just going in to do something as small as maybe just getting a filling or a checkup can be one of the most terrifying experiences in my life. Like just hearing a tool that sounds like a buzzsaw rattle off your teeth is just such an unnerving feeling. And don't even get me started on how nerve wracking it feels when your dentist asks you how many times a week do you floss. But imagine you take it upon yourself to not only go to some shady dentist office to get your mangled teeth done up, but alongside this, your dentist is the punisher. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Also, real quick, I put up a community post about this comic the other day, and an actual dentist identified each and every bad thing wrong with the bad guy's teeth. So, just... Give this guy a round of applause real quick. And yeah, that's right. Frank Castle took up dentistry for one whole comic book, and it's such a good story. Involving a mobster named Don Signor getting his checkup at the dentist with his bodyguards. But the bodyguards are swiftly taken out of the equation as Signor's dentist finds a ton of infection inside of his mouth. Until the dentist himself realizes that he's next to die, starting to beg for his life. But there was no mercy from the man he was face to face with. Meanwhile, Signor starts to freak out a little bit. As the Punisher walks up to Signor, on the dental chair saying he heard he was in for a checkup today. Strapping handcuffs on Signor saying that it's for his own protection because if he tries to run out of the chair he'll snap his neck like a twig. Next the Punisher starts to tell Signor that he killed his men waiting in the car outside along with the other two in the waiting room and even tied up the receptionist so there's no hope in Signor holding out for a rescue. So the Punisher tells Signor that his situation is going to work like this. The Punisher will wave his finger over a map of New York to identify a holdout and when he gets close Signor will grunt and then he'll ask another question. And the Punisher will look into Signor's eyes if he lies, and if he does lie, he won't dream of doing it ever again. So the Punisher asks where the smack has been coming from since the 4th of July bust, but Signor refuses to say anything. So the Punisher grabs a pair of pliers and points out that there's a lot of infection inside Signor's mouth. As the Punisher pulls several teeth out while Signor screams in pain. After the Punisher would finish removing Signor's bottom left teeth, Signor had cooperated, but the Punisher would then ask where all of his weapons are being being sold from, but Signor would refuse to say anything again. So the Punisher lets out a little smirk and says he figured he'd say that. As the Punisher starts sawing away at more of Signor's teeth, joking that they really are working their way through Signor's cavities, showing that even more teeth are gone and some chipped or with holes, while the Punisher asks Signor where he's hiding his baby killer of a brother, Bernie. But Signor, like the last two times, didn't learn his lesson, so the Punisher works away again. After the Punisher would end up removing almost all of Signor's teeth, he would say that he's surprised Signor's bothered by this at all. After all, he has animals eat people every week. Meanwhile, Signor can barely fathom the pain he's been through. So much so that the Punisher looks into Signor's mouth and asks Signor if he'd like something to numb the enormous pain he has. Following this up with a gun in Signor's mouth, thanking Signor for all the valuable information he's given him, telling Signor that he'll be seeing his friends in hell real soon, as he says to be ready now. Firing the gun in Signor's mouth while the Punisher says, and rinse. Ending the story. I hope you guys like this brutal story, and let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.